Okay, this is lesson 8.5 on graphing on a coordinate grid. And this is a very straightforward lesson. You've done this in grade six, so most of you should have very little difficulty with it. But we're gonna go over the basics again, just to make sure you understand, because we're gonna take this information and we're gonna be applying what uh, your, your transformations from last year, your reflections, your rotations, and your translations. So in order to be able to do this, you have to be able to plot these things on the Cartesian plane so that you can actually work with them and move them around. Now, in grade six, we did uh, a long time ago, they were called slides, flips, and turns. And in some textbooks, they'd still call them slides, flips, and turns at the grade six level. However, I've been trying to get you to use the proper terminology. So a slide is nothing more than a translation. A flip is a reflection, and a turn is a rotation. Now, last year, we only did it on the quadrant one of the Cartesian plane. This is what you're familiar with. It's got from zero going up to nine or 10 or whatever distance we needed in order to plot it. And you started with zero and you went up again. And these were the two positive um, axes that you worked with. And you were told that this is the x-axis down here. And this up here was your y-axis. Now, to plot on something like this was very straightforward. All you had to do was start at zero. And since our first point we're going to plot is four, five, all you had to do is take and go from zero to four. And then from four up to Five, and that's how you plotted it. It was always at right angles. You always did the x-axis first, and then you did the y-axis. And this is always the way it's done. You always go over, and then up or down. Okay, now over could be either direction. Now this was your grade seven stuff, uh, sorry, grade six stuff last year, and, and we had a point here we labeled, and you'll notice this point was labeled A, because, well, the point was told here that it was an A, and it was at four, five. This is the location. Now remember, the order is important. 4, 5, and 5, 4 are different locations. If you take a look here um, at this, if I went from, and if I thought 4, 5, didn't, order didn't matter, and I went 5, 4, look what happens. Here's my 5, and here is my 4. So my new point actually is going to be at this point right there, which is not where it's supposed to be. So you have to make sure that you keep track of the fact that this is all very important order is important. You always do the four first, back and forth, and you do the five up and down. Now let's take a look at what we're going to add this year. Now we're going to call, go, uh, going to add in the other three quadrants of the Cartesian plane. Now this is the Cartesian plane, uh, invented by a guy by the name of Rene Descartes, though he was the guy who put his name on it. Other people were using it long before that. And you'll notice that we're now taking and changing things. You were quite familiar with zero and the numbers would go on like they normally did. Here's zero and you went this way when you're in grade one, grade two, grade three. You want to use the positive numbers. Grade six, sorry, and then previous to this year, we've also realized that now instead of positive numbers, we now have negative numbers. So you now have a zero in the middle and negative on the left and positive on the right. So now we're going to be plotting your first coordinate. The x-coordinate can now not only be positive, but it can also be negative. So you could be doing a negative three followed by up or down. Now, just because there's, just uh, as there's a negative part for the x-axis, there's also a negative part for the y-axis, as well as what we're familiar with, the positive part. So we're still going to be doing um, left, sorry, left and right first. That's your x-axis. And then up and down is going to be second. All right. But only now, instead of getting a positive four, five, you may get a negative four, negative five. Okay, so now you, got a you have to plot in all four of these quadrants. Now the quadrants are numbered. It's not really important to know, but this is quadrant one right here. This is quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. It goes counterclockwise. Okay, so now let's take a look at plotting a single point. In this situation, the points can be placed on the grid the same way. So we've got point B, which is at negative three, positive two. So you're going to start here. And you always do the negative positive first, okay? Now it says here we're going to do negative three. So go to negative three or right there. And now it says positive two. Now the positives are going up. So we're going to take and go up to positive two right there. So that means at this point we've just plotted, this is our point B. I guess I should take a different color. There you go. That's point B. And it would normally sit right beside it like that. Okay. Now you don't have to put the coordinates in. We can get the coordinates off the Cartesian plane if we need it. All right. Now remember, first comes the negative three, then comes the two. 
Otherwise, what happens is you'll be doing negative 3 down here and positive 2. It would actually be sitting way over at this location, which is in the wrong spot. Okay, so order is important. Okay, now going to the next one. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the recording and we're going to go through and I want you to take and graph all of these points that are given here. All right, you'll see that I've got, uh, what's this one here? It looks so weird for. That's supposed to be, all right, that's supposed to be 4, negative 2. Okay, so I don't know if it's going to work, but there it is. All right, so here's my 4, negative 2. What I would like you to do is take and plot A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. If you're not sure, what you can do is you can actually do the first one uh, and then start the, um, and, and I'll start going through the different points and start putting them on, and then you can stop where I am and go back, okay? So take a look at this. I want you to plot 5, 6, and I want you to label it A. Now remember, order is important. So you're going to be going from 5, you're going to go locate the 5 first, and then you're going to go up to 6 because they're both positive. Remember that a point that does not have a, uh, sorry, a, if you don't have a positive sign on it, it's always positive, okay? So pause the recording, and I want you to take and do the plotting of these points. All right, so here we go, 5, 6. You start at 0, all right, and you're going to go to 5 first. There's 5, positive 5, and now up to 6. So there is your first point right there. That is positive 5, 6, and of course you will label it by putting the A beside it. You can include the 5, 6 if you want. Now, to do B, which is at 6, 0, 6 is first, but 0, you don't go up or down because it stays on the 0 line. So here is your location for B at 6, 0. For C, which is at 0, 4, you're going to go 0, and you're going to go up here to 4. Okay, now, 0 means you don't go left or right on the x-axis, you stay where you are, and go up to 4. Once that's done, you label it. For D, it says go to negative 5 first, so that's the first one, so negative 5 is here, but then it tells you to stay at 0, don't go up or down. All right, so there's negative 5, 0, and there's point D. Okay, now if you were having difficulty before, stop the recording and go back and finish off E, F, G, and H, please. Okay, let's take a look at E, F, G, and H. For E, it says start out at negative 3, and then it says go up to point 5. So here's negative 3, 5 right there, and of course you label it E, like that. For f, we're at negative 5, negative 3. So there's negative 5, but now we're going to go down to negative 3. So there is our location for point f. For g, it's negative 5, 0. So there's, uh, sorry, negative 5, 0. I guess I have two of them here. I didn't realize I had two negative 5, zeros, but I do. Okay, so there's negative 5, 0. And this one would also be beside that. And h is 4, negative 2. So you're going to go over to 4 and drop down to negative 2 for your y-axis, and your label is going to be H. Okay, so this lesson is all about plotting. All I want you to do is to be able to plot all these points on the Cartesian plane, and make sure you understand that the order is correct, that you have to always put the x-axis first, and you always have to put the y-axis second. Okay, and that's all there is for this one. You can start your assignment, and you're going to need six Cartesian plane handouts. Uh, they're at the front of the class in the cardboard shelf setup. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.